Hey everybody, this is Casey Starlong and welcome to today's breakfast. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, then I want to welcome you. What I try to do every day is just share a word from the Lord. I just ask God, Lord, give me a word for your people. And he gives me the word and I just share it with you and I try to do it in five minutes or less. So today's word is, is that God is for you. That the Lord put on my heart early this morning, um, just a lie from the enemy. And um, what God began to show me is how the enemy um, is speaking into the hearts, into the minds of God's people, um, really trying to, to make us think that God is working in opposition to us. But the word from the Lord today is that God wants you to know that he is for you and that he is not withholding anything from you. One of the things that the enemy will try to do is make you think that, look, if you had this or if you had that, then everything would be okay. And that the reason why you don't have this and the reason why you don't have that is because God is withholding it from you. But the Lord says today that he's not withholding anything from you, that everything that you have is what you need for this season in your life. I was reminded of Psalm 84 and 11, where it says that God withholds nothing from those who walk uprightly with him. So it could be that in this season, God is giving you exactly what you need, okay? In another season, it may be that God gives you more. God began to give me a vision this morning, and I was in the vision. And um, I was I was really like a baby bird, and, and God was like the mama bird. Um, and uh, in the vision, God would feed the baby birds worms and insects and things like that, that God provided the daily bread um, for those baby birds. But as a baby bird, I could look over the nest and I saw a very big fat worm. I mean, it was huge. Um, and I began to cry out to God and say, well, I don't want what you're putting in my nest. I want that big fat bird. And in the vision, God began to show me that that big fat bird, although it looked nice, plump, it looked better than what was in my nest, I did not have the digestive tract to be able to process that big bird. So it could be, I'm sorry, that big worm. So it could be that the enemy begins to highlight your focus that, look, if you had that car, or if you had that bank account, or if you had that type of platform for your ministry, or if you had that promotion, that that's really what you need. And it could be that God desires to give it to you later in another season. It could just be that your digestive system, that uh, where you are right now in life, that you couldn't process that big thing in your life. And so what God is saying in this season is just trust him. Trust him for the provision um, that he is putting in front of you now, understanding that it is exactly what you need. I begin to study worms and why birds crave worms and insects. And um, as my study um, led me to understand that those worms and those insects, that's the exact type of protein that those birds need. So it could be that what God has brought before you in your nest is exactly what you need. So I just encourage you to cast down those thoughts, cast down those imaginations. And when the enemy wants to make you think that, you know, God is withholding something great from you, God says no. He's giving you everything that you need in this season. And my final biblical verse for today's breakfast, it comes from Matthew chapter 7, um, verses 9 through 11. And this is a familiar text, but it basically says that if an evil father knows how to give his son great gifts. Think of how perfect and wonderful our father is in heaven. He really knows how to give great gifts. So an evil father, if the son asks for a snake, I'm sorry, if the son asks for a fish, you know, the father isn't going to give the son a snake. If the son asks, you know, his father for um, a piece of bread, the evil father, you know, is not going to give his son, you know, a stone. So God is the same way that what we ask God for, he's going to give us what we need um, for the right season that we are in. So I just want to encourage you today. God is for you. God is for you. God is for you. He's not withholding anything from you. If you don't have it in this season, it's because you don't need it, okay? You don't need it yet. You don't need it. God is giving you everything 
that you need because he loves you. He's a good father. He's a compassionate father, okay? And so I just wanted to share that word with you. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, but I'll be back for tomorrow's breakfast. Be blessed, bye.